Now we'll look at how to combine the keywords that we have brainstormed using the Boolean operators AND, OR, and NOT. When combining multiple keywords with the AND operator, the search results will contain all of these keywords. For instance, if we search for climate change AND Canada, all of our results will contain both of these terms. If we add a third term using AND, indigenous, our results will contain all three terms and may exclude results containing just one or two of them. In this way, the AND operator narrows a search but can give higher precision in the results. When combining keywords with the OR operator, the search results will contain any or all of those keywords. For instance, if we search for indigenous, OR native, OR aboriginal, our results may contain any of these terms, increasing our number of results. In this way, using the operator OR expands a search. We can use a combination of the AND and OR operators to maximize our search results using the bank of keywords we brainstormed. To do this, we will connect all the related terms with OR and the broader concepts using AND. Now when we run the search, the results will contain at least one word from each of the groups of related terms. A keyword which directly follows the operator NOT will be omitted from the search results. It is best used if we find that there are articles on a particular topic which are cluttering our results. For instance, if we are interested in focusing on Aboriginal populations outside of British Columbia, we can specify for the database not to retrieve articles containing this term. Now that we know how the Boolean operators work, it's time to develop our search string. In the next video, we'll look at some final tips and tricks for getting the most out of a search.